Welcome, this is an Elin reading for the soul for 0202 for the Capricorn Sun Moon Rising sign. For the extended of this reading, please use the link below or use the um, uh, here um, um, connect to the channel and then you um, will receive the extended of this reading. I want to say thank you to um, everyone to come out. Thank you so much. Um, and the message for you guys for someone out there is that the keeper of the hurt your ascension families are here helping you um to move forward okay so whatever is transpiring some of you feel as if you're alone you're not alone okay there is a lot of uh, um um answer the call is coming up for you guys oh Someone need to answer the call. I don't know who you are, what is happening. You need to answer the call. Someone is calling you. Someone is calling out to you. What is your soul um, calling you to do? You need to answer that call, okay? So your soul is calling you to do something and you need to answer that call. What is crossing you? Um, releasing soul pattern contracts and past life unbounded unbounded this is what is crossing you some of you need to release um soul patterns which is um some of you reincarnate and then you're connecting with the same people same story same thing and this is what you need to break you need to unbound it you need to break it the soul pattern with the same people, the same things over and over again. You need to break this pattern, okay? And this is what is affecting you and going to be affecting you in the period of April, May, and June. Um, April, May, and June, you need to release the, the soul pattern that you have been having, okay? It's in your... Um, your soul you need to break that pattern with people and situation okay the contracts that you owe the past life you need to break them and i see some of you breaking it in the month of april may and june the pillar of pillar of light is here and this is good your vibration is going to be raised to an higher energy vibration and you are the oracle i told you capricorns I told you Capricorn. So you Capricorns, the pillar of light is here. You are the ones that were sent here to show light to the rest of the world. And this is coming up in this year because Capricorns is about bringing discipline in a uh, corporation institution. Okay, bringing back discipline and corporation and institution. And the pillar of light is going to be here um, and it is going to be raising your energy vibration to a high energy vibration because you're most of you are going to become the oracles, okay? Given information. What you need to break is that you're not dancing with life, and they need you to start dance with life. And yeah, I, I can't, I really do understand this, but sorry, I can't dance with life. And, um, not until this planet this planet and these people on this planet change their energy vibration that's the only time you'll be able to dance with life and i'm sure a lot of you are agreeing with me because right now some of you are going through so much things I even listening to this video and it's only because this video is bringing some positive energies for you but for the rest it's as if Things is so hard in your life at this moment that you can't dance with life because you are just seeing deceptiveness, uh, injustice around you, and the dance of life is not here. Okay? So there is a lot that is happening and transpiring. An awakening is definitely going to be coming up for you guys. A new birth is going to be coming up. Okay? You're going to be going back to the Akashic Records. Uh, uh trusting the nudge is going to be coming up for you guys um yes whatever the question you want to answer is a yes i see a deep cleaning of emotion is coming up for you cancer for you capricorns and i see starseed i see that your starseed family is going to be coming up to help 
you Capricorns. However way your star seed family are going to be here to help you Capricorns. So your star seed family is going to help you to answer the call, whatever is transpired. Definitely your star seed family is going to help you to answer the call. However, this is affecting your life. As we look at the month of July, August, and September, I see you're going to be having protection. July, August, and September, I see um, protection is going to be coming in from your guides and angels, okay? And I see some of you are going to say, aren't they not protecting me now? Yes, but I see extra protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval, okay? And some of you are going to be taking back your power and cut the cords from people and situation that you have been dealing with. And this is going to be in the month of July, August, and September, okay? December, um, I see that you are going to be aligning in your life, okay? And in December, in October, November, and December, don't dim your light. Don't dim your light for people. Don't dim your light because people want don't want to see you move forward and make the 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 it. Don't dim your light for these people. In the month of October, November, and December, you're just not going to dim your light. You're just gonna be taking the rain and moving forward. And this is what you need to do, you Capricorns. So answer the call. What is your soul call? Okay, the pillar of light is going to be here helping you guys out. The energies of the star seeds are going to be coming up. All right. I see some of your the call uh, answer the call um where you need to work with other people um to create abundance in your life. Um some of you are going through some hardship at this moment. Um, um, but you're going to be releasing the pattern and protection is going to be coming up for you. Okay. So answer the call. What is that, um, information for answering the call, answering the call. Okay. Some of you are going to be changing career. You're going to be answering the call. You're going to be finding your right career part and answering the call to your divine purpose. So this is going to be good. So that's what answering the call is all about is that you're going to be finding um, the call to your divine purpose. Some of you are going through some hardship and this is why you can't dance through life. And this is what I was said when dancing through life came up is that some of you are dealing with so many hardship in your life. You can't dance your life. Okay. Then I see um, this energy um, where you um, um, Capricorns are going to be taking on the energy of um, business people business okay and you are going to be releasing certain patterns that you do with business you're going to be ending certain contracts and some of you are going to be handing past life connections okay so um capricorns i see that this is powerful because i see that you guys are um taking on powerful energies that is coming up really taking on powerful energies especially in the month of uh, April, May, and June, I see you're going to be your, you're going to be taking on where you are doing your own reigns with your financial stability and that sort of a thing. A new start is going to be here and protection is going to be coming up. I see some of you, um, if you um, was in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, I see a new start that is going to be coming up. I see protection is going to be coming for you. You're going to be overcoming whatever obstacles in the month of uh, um, July, August, and September. Whatever obstacles is there, you're, you're going to be having protection and you are going to be moving forward, okay? So that is really wonderful. Um, don't dim your light. I see a lot of people who are going to want to um, competition, in the month of October, November, and December, but don't dim your light. So in the month of October, November, and December, competition are going to be coming towards you, whether it's on the work floor or in your personal life or um, with your business, but um, don't dim your light for no one, okay? Because I see that people will try and take advantage of the situation. Don't dim your light. I see a lot of you are going to be in the spotlight when it comes up uh, um, to the end of the year, you're going to be overcoming whatever that was happening and transpiring. 
I see you ladies and um, ladies and men 50 years and older you're definitely definitely going to be in the spotlight okay especially you women 50 years and older I see you in the spotlight because your work and whatever you're producing to help humanity is going to be so wonderful and I see a lot of people especially when it comes on to the last um, six months of the year is that that is when you ladies uh, are going to be in the spotlight I see whatever comes at you um, Capricorns you're going to be moving away um, from these lower energies and whatever come at you you Capricorns it's like you're going to be making um, a new step because some of you were really going through um, some hard times uh, and it's going to be ending and I see a new start is going to be coming out for you and this new start is going to bring you guys to a positive alignment of energies in your world so Capricorns what are you all about Capricorns are dedicated to achieve Capricorns focus on things to achieve okay so this is going to be um, very very good your goals I see a couple cons are going to be focusing on day-to-day -day, um, things in your day-to-day -day. you're going to be using the most of it and I see you're going to be very business-like okay what else is affecting the Capricorn I see the house of the sixth house and the sixth house has to do with you serving humanity that is the house of the Virgos okay this sixth house is about serving humanity and it is the house of the Virgos it's about planting something and uh, um, reaping the benefits of this thing so your goals it's all about your goals and as a full-time um, some of you are going to be your goals is your full-time job that you're going to be focusing on the planetary aspect is Jupiter okay all right I end my case I bloody end my case you dumb Capricorns whatever is transpiring go check out the extended of this reading capricorns because it's going to be so beautiful this year even though you will have obstacles you're going to be overcoming these obstacles jupiter your planet of jupiter is here jupiter is the planet i didn't set these cards out i'm just picking cards as i go along and here it is jupiter is what you're dealing with is creating abundancy for you omk i love this I just love this all right so Jupiter is here so I see people who have their goals as um, you're going to be turning your goals into a full-time um, job okay and you're going to be learning and teaching some of you are going to be learning and some of you are going to be teaching okay day to day the day-to-day -day reality is about serving and it's about serving humanity but being positive about what you do so this is really really positive using use the most of business like ways to do things do it a little a little at a time grow and expand and this is Jupiter going to be helping you guys to expand so this is going to be good okay and you're going to be growing and expand your business is going to be growing and expand as you yourself grow and expand you Capricorns then I see the dedication to achieve service to others and the guarantee of service to others and Jupiter is going to guarantee this for you it's no question you're going to be receiving the help from the planet Jupiter in the sixth house because the sixth house is all about service okay it's all about servicing others it's all about helping others by um, doing a service to them focusing on what it is that is good for you and others blessings from Jupiter okay is going to be coming in for you resulting from the rules imposed by you in your work or um, is going to be bringing good fortune and here you go ladies and gentlemen you are going to be very powerful the 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 um you capricorns this is going to be a very very powerful time for you so and enjoy that because it is going to be beautiful capricorn jupiter is here and um, in your planet it is in your planet and jupiter is going to be helping you let's see um what is this okay um problem solving 
resolution problem solving resolution is coming out so whatever the problem that you needed to solve there is a resolution that is coming out to this issue and the situation so a lot of you are going to be resolving a problem that was transpiring all the puzzles are going to be falling together um, whatever the problem and the issue is going to be resolved in this period okay wonderful energy then we see stay optimistic your dreams are coming true don't quit right now before the miracle happens and this is so true sometimes people see that things are not working out and they want to quit and the angels and guides are saying no don't quit before um you know um stay optimistic this is all going to be working out don't quit before you know this uh, situation and this thing is not really resolved so this is going to be good then for the people who have people that passed away they said my mind is free okay my mind is free so um whatever is happening and transpiring it's all about you in your head let go of this okay it's going to teach you to let go of things that you're holding on to let go of what is in your head stay optimistic because it's everything is going to be working out okay even though you you are worried how they're going to be working out it's about focusing focusing on what is uh, um uh, in for you so wonderful it's going to be beautiful because i see a lot of you are going to be financial stable however that is coming up i see a lot of you is going to be balancing out I see especially the, the men and women 50 years and older, um, especially the women. I see wonderful spotlight is on you. I see people are going to be wanting to collaborate with you. I see you overcoming whatever the issues and the situation. You are going to be resolving issues and problems that is coming up. Keep the mind free, okay? And for the people who have people who have passed over, they're saying to you their mind is now free. Let it go. Let go and let God because things are going to be working out. Okay. So Capricorns, I'll speak to you next week. Bye.